morning, what's happening? Essex boy builder here. Started another project today, South Fuckingdon. Um, I'll tell you what we're doing. and all these rubs coming out so. and we're going to build a, a lean to a timber lean to on site and we're going to build a fence and we're going to do it all in one so basically we're going to excavate all this get rid of all that fence um pour a concrete pad and then we're going to bolt some post brackets into the concrete and then build the frame into the boundary line, into the fence, so yeah, the, the customer's got a usable space. forms made up the concrete pad um, we're gonna get half a ton or a ton of type one in just so we've got something to walk on so it's not too um, boggy obviously it ranges the last day.
back on the uh, on the lean to project now. I'm just getting set up. Um, I've got 25 mm of six by two. We've got six four by four green posts. Got some toe brackets. Canvas is putting brackets on now. Sam's backing on with these posts, so I'm going to get the um, wall plate along the back and then um, start framing it out. This wall plate, we've got a six per two uh, treated timber all the way around. Um, we're just using a, a seven mil bit, brown raw plugs, uh, just to get a fix on it, and then we're going to chem fix it with some M10 bulbs after. Show you how we're getting on so far. So the posts have got the bolts on. Uh, we've got a wall plate on. That's the angle of the rope. There's a little vent there. That's for the tumble dryer. So that will just vent inside. So that'll be fine. The light there is in the way. And I'm just going to refix it underneath. Been knocked around that. Bit of an awkward one, that because uh, this ain't square. You've seen it a bit. So, yeah, it's going to work our way through now, get the other end done, and then um, get the fence post panels in. Right, that's us for that day. So we've got obviously got the fence going in this side. Which is basically we built it into the lean-to. So we 
stepped it in a little bit. The roof's gonna overhang four inches. So don't encroach on the other side. So after it's there, Today from this job, um, we had to pick up some gates and that. So yeah, I'll show you what we're up to in a minute. Last time we was here, we had uh, we've got all the frame down to the roof, the fencing down that side. So we've got to put a gate down that and the gate ready soon. So gate number one. And we bought this gate mate, superior gate furniture. Looks pretty decent to be fair. Well, 35 foot it was, so it wants to be. Comes with all the bits in it. So yeah, let's uh Right, that's all the uh all the roof in there. So we had to put because that ain't square, it goes in at an angle, so that's why I like to put that chip knocking in to so keep that last one up. First day back off the end of the game, as everyone feeling, off of the white nuts now. Twenty-five past eleven. I'm starting to feel normal. Um, yeah. So keep going, eh? I suppose. <laughs> We've got the rest of the fence. Gonna finish off the last um, drawers now. We've got a gate going in this end, but undecided whether we're gonna use the um, old front door or a gate yet, so can't be really set nothing out on that. Cam's down the side there, digging out. We've got to get another little bit of the fencing down there because it's not quite long enough. The, um, Well done. I measured 450s off there to 450, 900, etc. All the way along. Same that side. And then I use a laser measure just because it's easier um, than a tape measure. So let's put that on. On each mark, make sure the laser's hitting the other mark, all the 450s, and then take measurements. So, write them all down 3365, 3371, all
Alright, so. What we've done, we've put the sheets on. The customers are worried about losing their light. Losing light in the kitchen, so we've put two clear sheets in. So it keeps the light in the kitchen. And the rest are uh, 0.7 metal sheets. Storage, gym, full stuff. 